Whatever you got. When you wake up, what are the first sites or apps you visit on your phone? I'd like to get up and like pray and meditate right when I wake up. So that's like the first thing. It's, it's difficult to not want to just go to my phone right when I wake up. But I pray and meditate, spend some time with creator and then and I'll go to my phone. That's cool. You know, it's interesting. I have a thing where I have to do three things every morning before I look at my phone. I have to accomplish three tasks. One of them is meditate and then maybe feed my dog or something else. But it is difficult to resist that urge. Absolutely. What's your meditation? What kind of meditation do you do? I, it depends on the day. Some days I'll do like a guided meditation on um, Insight Timer, which is on my phone, which is so maybe that's actually the first app I actually go to when I wake up, is Inside Timer. Yeah, there you go, that's the one. I, I got it. it set up on the Sharong. I love it. Yeah. What's that, I don't know, what's that? The Sharong? Let me see if I can get a, a sound on that one here. Sounds like a my Shalong. Oh, is it like a... It's the bell, ring? yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, cool, nice. Yeah. What is a hidden talent most people don't know you have? Oh, we did that one, unless you got a good one. We already kind of had that question. Okay, you wanna do it? Do you well? have a good one? I can blow spit bubbles. Can you do one right now? Oh, come on. There it uh, is. Did it go? Yeah, it fell. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, success. Ah, uh, sometimes you can get it and then catch it back in your mouth. What is the first indulgent purchase you'd make if you won the lottery? Probably like a really nice, brand new, fancy drum set. Do you know what that would be? Do you have a vision? Like a brand new Tama Star Classic, like Bubinga, like exotic wood drum set with like two bass drums, one normal bass drum and like a small little auxiliary bass drum. Would you go full Neil Pert and just surround yourself in Fun. drums? Yeah, yeah, with like all new cymbals and like new electronics. And the band would have to lower you into your seat with a crane each oh, night. yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> if you had one opportunity to use a time machine, where would you go? Yeah, maybe like the 1950s um, and like hang out with like some of like the jazz musicians like in like smoky late night nightclubs like after hours like when they're doing their like jam sessions like after their gigs they all go to like this one place and like they all sit and jam and like hang out with those guys like Bird and John Coltrane or you know Miles Davis. Who's your favorite jazz drummer? First guy that comes to mind is Art Blakey. <laughs> really love Art Blakey. Um, I really like Max Roach and Tony Williams and Buddy Rich. I mean, was was a monster. Tell me the name of an artist that I may not be listening to that I should be listening to. Okay, I would uh, recommend Dan Deacon. Dan Deacon is a contemporary, like electronic indie producer. He's very cool. He's very weird and like does all these crazy things with MIDI and controls acoustic instruments with like MIDI computers and has all these like really cool crazy ideas. He just came out with a new album called Mystic Familiar and uh, it's really great.